Don't worry, I'm not actually dead. I'm actually alive. Welcome back to EasyGates Online Painting Club. I've been really poorly again recently. It seems like there's no end to it, but don't worry, I'm actually much, much better today. If you remember back to last week, um, I was starting to get a cough and uh, my health just dropped right off. Um, I'm feeling much better. I've got a tiny tickle of a cough left, so you might hear that from time to time throughout the show, but still way better than last week. So sorry for having a cough last week. Sorry for kind of ruining the show a little bit by just constantly getting <coughs> down the microphone all the time. Um, but I am much, much better. Anyway, um, welcome to Easy 8's Online Painting Club, episode 97, almost at the, at the big centenary, which is going to be just fabulous. We've been going for that long now. Absolutely crazy. If you're new here to Easy 8, it's not a tutorial or anything like that. It's literally a place where you can come make some friends over there in the live chat we've got jeff and kes already hi guys hope you're doing well nice to see you thanks for coming along um yeah we well, can just kind of bring your painting or any kind of hobby really it doesn't even have to be painting it could just be a online get together club for all i really mind it's about just kind of bringing people together getting your painting done on the tiny little minis that we've all just got massive massive hordes of just gray plastic unpainted excuses uh, more often than we have times to actually paint so that's what it's all about um, here so for the next two hours you're going to be kind of sitting here listening to my, on my voice just drone on uh, watching me paint my stuff just kind of just being there because it's just nice isn't it knowing that someone else is kind of going through especially at the moment i'm painting a horde army and it's just it goes on and on and on and sometimes just knowing that someone else is out there suffering in the monotony of it all you can get some stuff done we've got adrian has joined us for the first time in ages greetings hi adrian thanks for coming along mate nice to see your name there in the live chat again i hope you're doing well buddy um so yeah if you like what i do what we do what we're all about here at easy eight uh do please you know find us on facebook as well because we're just here on youtube or on facebook or on instagram and we're on um, discord so at the end of the show if you want to you can come and join me and anybody else who comes along at the end on oh, the easy eight after party said it right this time uh, and you can come just have a chat with me if you want to on the video or you can just kind of talk or just type if you're if you're a bit shy that's fine um but if you do like what we do please do like follow uh, share and subscribe every little thing that you do has a massive effect at this end uh, and I, it gives me an ego boost it, it makes me feel good and it makes me want to carry on doing it um so please do share t talk about it with your friends uh random in the street hey log on get yourself subscribed please it's going really well at the moment we're getting loads of followers we're up to 64 subscribers that feels small because we've been going for three years now three years um well we're into our third season um and it feels like maybe we should be in the triple figures but actually that, that's, a, that's an organic number that's generated naturally and, and i really appreciate that that's people coming along and staying um and then the fluctuates it up and down and back up again and that's that's fine um but you know having 64 regular subscribers really makes me feel full of joy so thank you very much for being a part of it let's make the community grow um if you are working on something this evening, I would genuinely, genuinely love to know what it is. I don't just say that to you know to plug stuff on the show. The reason I make the show is because I'm genuinely interested in what it is that you're doing. So if you are working on a project this evening or just at some other time during the week, then let, let me know. T talk about it here on the show. If you want to, you can put pictures up on Facebook, like I've been saying now for the last couple of months. The Facebook page has changed. It's out of my control. There is no there is a mentions tab, but you can't put stuff on there like you used to be able to. So what you can do now is find the listing, uh, which I've got here up on my phone right now so i can see what you're putting up there um, and you can just add comments to the listing and just kind of put up photographs of what it is that you're doing it's the stuff that you want to talk about if you want to celebrate a victory if you've got like a bit of a monotonous failure oh and you just kind of want some sympathy or help through it then ask the community or if you've got some stuff to share and talk about then that's what we're here about so come along for the next two hours and join me painting some stuff um so yeah there we go i would love to have had more done this week my aim this week was to get all all of the highlights done it was quite a bit because there's 16 terminations to do i would love to have had them all done by this week but um if you remember last week like i said had a cough it was a bit irritating come the end of that evening i was exhausted uh, i went downstairs i said hello to my partner went straight to bed um after a little bit of a chat with the community on on discord and um it, yeah and then i should not really been going to work it's been re i've been really struggling a few weeks ago uh, just um sort of at the end of october i had a, a horrible chest infection 
infection. I got through that. Chest infections knocked me on my butt. Like I had pneumonia some years ago, and ever since I just can't handle them at all. Got rid of that, nice and easy, and it came back. Uh, and it was really, really hard work this week. Today is the first day where I actually feel like I'm at 95% of my usual character. So um, next few days, I hope to be fighting fit. So I've just had, I've just, I just didn't want to do anything. There was, I wanted to come up into the studio and do some painting. But I thought, I just can't. I'm just going to end up ruining everything. So what I'm going to do, rather than just sitting there doing the same old thing week on week, like I always do, um, I'm just going to, rather than just do all grey bits, I'm just going to kind of just have some fun this evening. I've still got all the chitin to do in light grey, and I've still got all the claws to do in, in the um, Citadel, um, I forget what it's called, Screaming Skull Colour. That's what I've been working on. And I'm just kind of dragging myself through it. Um, so maybe I'll outsource. I don't know. Maybe I can get my cats or my partner to do some work. I can see some pictures already going up. Kez is putting some... Oh, excuse me. That's the wine coming up there. I'm sorry. Uh, Kez is putting some pictures up of a, a snow terrain. That is looking absolutely fantastic. That is looking really good. You should head on over to Facebook if you don't know what I'm talking about. Because that's really good. Well done on all that snow terrain. Is that what you're working on this evening, is it? That, that's looking really, really cool. Yeah, loving that. Nice battle mat as well. Posh. That's, that's really cool. It looks like it's covered in snow. So that's kind of what you want, right? <laughs> anyway, let's move on from here. I'm going to take you on over to the workbench. Because um, I just want to kind of crack on and get some stuff done. right? So here we go. At the workbench. Oh, I thought the camera messed up then. That had me a bit worried. Uh, Adrian says, I'll be working on the Spartan, uh, the Goth Rocker, and the Azrak the Annihilator. And Azrak the Annihilator? Oh, I don't know. What is Azrak the Annihilator? Is that a new... It sounds like an orc. I want to say it's an orc, but I, I, I just don't know. Anyway, it sounds like you've got a lot of projects on the table there, Adrian. Something to break up a little bit. So you've got to have like several projects on the go at the same time, haven't you? Anyway, what have I been doing? I have been working on this little termogen here. This is the one that I finished with last week. I only... So I've got three termagents that have got, all got their grey highlights on. I'm still not into the um, contrast on them, but at this stage, you know, termagents, who cares? Um, what I've been doing is just kind of working my way through the claws because a little while ago I decided that the claws won't be grey. They'll be claw colours. Um, so just before the show got started, I had a few minutes and I just started getting a little bit of a head because this guy, I finished the grey on him last week, but I didn't get the claws done. So what I wanted to do was have this one kind of up to speed with all the the claw colours the bony ivory guys if you want to call them ivory yeah this is I was having a little look at this model I say just, just a few minutes ago up close because I, I said time and time again that these miniatures they were second hand in a carrier bag and I never spent the time um, to kind of neaten them up and you know trim them all down because there's just a whole massive bag of them and this 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 particular one here is awful absolutely terrible when it is in a big pile of other minis as a part of his horde you won't notice so much um but you know i've started now <laughs> right so i just kind of want to get the mainstay of this horde unit done i've got my hormone gods which are the claw versions the, the, these are the gun versions. I've got the close combat versions of them. Um, they're all done to the same standard, to be fair. I did those ages and ages ago, right back when Easy 8 started. Um, well, before Easy 8 started. So it would be nice to have these, these two horde units ready. And I do have a, another box that was gifted to me by one of the viewers a long time ago as a friend, um, as a Christmas present. And they're, they're still you know, in their box. I haven't taken them out at all. Um, because I've got so many other projects on the go, it's a very generous gift. But what I'll do is I'll get those, up, and I'll, I'll probably turn them into Hormone Cords because they're my favourite, and, and I'll do those up really nice. And then one day, in the distant future, I will get these little miniatures out again, and I'll, um, you know, I'll, I'll trim them all up and, and give them, you know, the attention that they deserve. Just got a, a lot of things to do and get through, as you all know. That's why we're here, right? I do have a little bit of a sniff, so I apologise again for the, the sort of crass noises that might be coming out of my nose or throat today. I hope you guys aren't getting There's quite a few people I know, friends, etc., who are all sort of getting the poorly. So if you do get it, really sorry. Hopefully, I haven't given it to you. Give it to you. 
so I've decided to do their teeth the same colour at this stage and I'm, and I'm really roughly doing them because when I hit them with a little bit of Agrax later on just for that sort of coloration on them it will run between the teeth and it should kind of just pick them out and I am being deliberately rough like I'm trying to find that balance point that fine margin you know quality etc it's got a few like hidden claws and it's just worth spending a minute just oh, a bit of paint in the wrong place it's just worth spending a minute just kind of working out where all the little talons are etc you know like, okay cool get you I'll get you and I'll come back to them there we go cool anyway there's that one done Four. I am one third of the way through. Stafford says, uh, "Evening, all apologies for my tardiness. That's no worries, mate. You were poorly as well last week. You were telling me just the other day we met up, didn't we? And we were both poorly. I hope you're feeling better as well, mate. Uh, nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. I'm not watching the football tonight because <laughs> that's where you were last week. I think uh, I was watching the football. Yeah, doing right in the World Cup. I'm not a big football follower. Uh, one of my colleagues is, and I like to join in with." things that my colleagues take an interest in because you know it's their hobby and this is about my hobby they might watch i don't think they do <laughs> um, but it's kind of nice just to be a part of what they're really excited about so i'm a part of the sweepstake and england was one of the countries that i drew randomly so yeah we're right up there nine goals so far this season anyway um adrian says the annihilator model is a corn terminator based on a white or a white dwarf cover free model for having a two-year subscription to warhammer plus oh that's neat i would actually really like to see that um at this stage if you don't mind sharing it in its kind of unfinished form that would be really cool um yeah into that uh yeah Kez says all my snow scenery is finished now i'm looking at all the photos kids as you put them up there that's cool i like the one with the atlas <laughs> yeah that's cool man look at that you've done such a wonderful job with all those trees as well because remember you were struggling with the trees and the bleed through of the color as well weren't you but that is looking bang on nice one mate well done cool yeah there we go uh jeff says yes yeah, staff have a word with yourself <laughs> uh oh right here we go so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna move on to a little bit of light gray on this termogen here because he still needs that clean the brush out but i haven't done any gray work yet for my gray i'm using um administratum gray by Cit citadel administratum gray by citadel that was a bit of a mouthful give it a bit of a shake you're welcome kez thanks she says you're welcome and no, it looks pretty cool right give it a shake uh, and just for stafford you know what's coming don't you oh, i've lost my button i can't get there quickly <laughs> here we go can i give it a good old waz on the easy eight wazomatic Gonna sniff. Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty cool. All wazzed. I love a grey colour. Just a couple of dollops of that. A splooge, if you will. You heard? A splooge. There we go three scoops that'll keep me going for a minute I was using um, flow improver last week just compare it with water at this scale I don't think it really makes any difference so I'll save my expensive flow improver certainly more expensive than water is anyway and I'll just um, I'll add a drop of water just thin that paint down a little bit probably thinned it a bit too much because it's me and I can't do anything simple Oh, so much catching up to do but I do feel like bit by bit I am making progress I do feel like I'm getting through my collection I've got some conviction is that the right word no mo I just I just feel motivated lately I just kind of want to do it and get it done um, because I don't want to get old and not have it done all of these models have been a part of my life for so long and I enjoy them and I admire them and I, you know, value them. 
but clearly not enough to have them all painted by now and that's really sad. We know the score by now, don't we? I like to draw like a little highlight line and then just feather in some additional splits and things. Make a couple of longer ones. Make it look like he's, you know, got lots of cracks and splits. I believe last week we called it the toenail effect. Making sure that there are no sharp corners. I don't want sharp corners. That's pretty good. I don't know why. Today I think I'm just going to work down one side to start with. I've got a good hold of it, I think. Do you know what? I'm not even going to do a line on that one. I'm just going to do that feathering motion all the way along. That's cool. Oh, I like the way that went. And that's one of those things that I was referring to last week. Just about practice just by constant repetition you just kind of like develop a different way don't you, you just you, you, you kind of like just sort of naturally go oh this this is quicker and it, and it still looks the same so yeah brilliant in fact that looks better than what I've been doing so see if I can continue that course there we go one side done already the paint was a little bit on the thin side there so it was looking a little bit transparent which doesn't come out so stuck. It might help the um, the issue I'm finding with contrast, maybe. But I don't want to have to come back and go over it again because if I have to do every single carapace twice, that's suddenly 32 termagants. I just don't want to do that, man. Um, if you've got to, you've got to. But if you can, you know, take efforts to avoid it, brilliant. I think on this top one here I've kind of got to do that line okay I say got to because it's a, a larger line it felt like I well a larger surface that I had to make sure that the um, that the edge was actually highlighted that's actually much better than that. Look at the difference in that already. Such a small thing, but yeah, well into that. Some comments going in, staff shouting wasomatic, yeah, we love it. <laughs> it's, it's just such a stupid word. <laughs> Sounds offensive. Love it. <laughs> um, Jeff says, been working on a 10 foot of waddy. It's hard to put detail on something with little detail. Um, yeah, Stafford, you, you're right. Yeah, you are easy the police. Um, what's a waddy? Is that dry riverbed? It is, isn't it? Because I, I helped you do some a little while ago with cracked earth um, paint and something, wasn't it? Is that, is that what a waddy is? Also, some fantastic work you've been putting out lately uh, on your Facebook page for customers. If anyone doesn't know who Jeff is, Jeff is my dad. He owns his own company. Uh, gratuitous free advertising plug right now. Uh, Purple Lion Creations will make um, any of your terrain for you of any description. Um, or bespoke, 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 bespoke and custom built to your specifications. Uh, some wonderful stuff has been going out lately. So if you are interested, even just having a look, head on over to Purple Lion Creations. Um, Facebook page um, and all of the people who you know I like support talk to etc there's links to all of those guys all their platforms down there in the description so go and have a little look ah uh, yeah Jeff says yeah Waddy a dry riverbed check me out at the knowledge was that a bit too much of my brush there
obviously this side here was actually a little bit thicker there was less water sorry m yeah less water in in the brush and that was a little bit harder to play with but oh well messed that up a little bit yeah I need a bit more water it's going on a bit too thick okay I always do a little test bit on my hand gives me good insight as to whether it's going to be a hard batch or not. Oh, I've got a blob on, on the top there. I'm going to ignore it. A bit of exposure therapy. Leave it. Who cares? Every fibre of my brain right now is screaming at that little blob on the top there. So I'm talking about exposure therapy. I've been harking on for months and months now about learning um, about ADHD and understanding that I, I have it and I don't just have like a little bit of it. It turns out that I am really, really ADHD. And this is a, a massive key player into um, a lot of my procrastinations with painting and you know, lack of motivation and all sorts of things. And learning about it, learning... It's, it, I feel a bit of a fraud in some ways. I feel like... Um, that I've kind of found this thing and I'm like, yep, yeah, that's the reason I have a big pile of clothes on my bedroom floor, which I do for months and I can't do anything with it. Uh, that's why I don't want to go to that social event or that's why I can't do that amount of painting. Um, and it kind of feels like I'm, I'm pointing a finger of blame because I found this thing that I can blame that people would take seriously. Uh, but it is actually a thing. Um, and I, a, a lot of my life and things are making a lot of sense. Um, and what it's doing is um, it's, it's allowing me to build and develop uh, coping mechanisms uh, and this really is really s strong with my work like it's it, you know I, I love what I do in my work but I can always be better I'm one of those people um, and, it's, and it's really helping me focus and get the most out of what I do and the team that I work with which is great but you know it can also be applied to my hobby and it's just about um, staying consistent at the moment and you know, like I say, if I find something that that works, is is roll with it and, and try to not keep chopping, changing, chopping, changing, um, and and just the regularity of having this show. Uh, Kyle, my old co co-host of years ago, I uh, was always saying it. It just by knowing that this Friday's coming up, you know that you've got two hours. So no matter how your week is going, you've always got two hours. And having this show, even for me. It's, it's, it's important, you know, knowing that I can sit here, do this. And as I'm doing more and more, I like, like right now, I'm finding my own little techniques. I'm going to draw the line, I'm going to feather it. But also, if something's not quite spot on, uh, a micro um, symptom of ADHD is... OCD. Now I don't have OCD. That is a terrible affliction to people who really struggle with it. I don't have that, but there are elements to most people who have ADHD, especially adults. Adult ADHD is almost a different thing. Um, like perfectionism um, is it's just a massive deal. Like, yes, I need to get rid of that little hair that's there, but I'm going to leave that little blob and I'm going to see how long it is before I come back into the studio and, and come up and paint it. It's probably going to be done by the end of the night, but I don't want it to break my flow right now. You know, if, if I come back and do it later, that's fine. Right now, what I'm doing is light grey and ivory. That's that's what I'm doing. It's really important to my brain that I keep that going. ADHD you to have such a, um, a stigma and it does for some people still because it's very difficult especially for children I work with children and I, and I see a lot of it and, and it and it can be very very difficult and, and levels much higher than what I would say that I have um, it's just it's just been a fascinating journey you know, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm learning so much. I 
And if anyone else out there, you know, feels that they suffer struggle or or that they've worked out how to cope with it and deal with it, I'd love to talk about it and hear about it. You know, there's there's, there's no stigma now. For, for me, it's um, I'm enjoying it. You know, I, I like I suddenly I, I go like, oh, but it's it's not a, a, a thing for me to, to to blame things on. I am the way I am. And that's never going to change. But to know why I function the way I do is really valuable to me. Anyone who's played tabletop games with me will know that I can't stand dice cluttering a table. Say the HD. <laughs> I don't like the terrain being moved or knocked around. Say the HD. I've got to talk about what I'm doing, playing on the tabletop, making visceral noises. No, I don't think that's ADHD. <laughs> it's just me being a child. An epic game of uh, Alpha Strike we played the other day. I nearly won. I did a double six. I took up my opponent in one go. I'll let the live chat talk about that. <laughs> I went a bit heavy on that plate on the head there. Just there. And again, exposure therapy. I'm just going to leave it. like these plates on the top because these single plates I don't really know how to highlight them or make them look cool so I just kind of do it get it done but yeah I'm not happy with it it's something that I feel that I will learn a way of doing over time you know These little plates here are really quite awkward to get into and all I'm really doing is just kind of crudely slapping this, this light grey on there. See all the contrast is not right on them at all. So I don't really care as, as long as long as the colour's on there. Something like that. I think that's the light grey on that one done. I really dig that. That's really cool, man. Awesome sauce. Love it. Right. He's part of my new four who hasn't had his claws done yet. So I'll find a new space for him. This guy can live just there. Wonderful. Cool. Right. Wash the brush out. Keep your brush clean. Uh, so lots of comments going in. Um, so what are you what are you doing? Thanks, staff. <laughs> Love a pun. Uh, what is the name of the brushes that you use again, please? Kalinsky, yeah, so Kalinsky is the style of brush, or the, or the fur, that the, the squirrel, I think that is. So Kolinsky, 
um, you can see it here k-o-l-i-n-s-k-y the brand i use I spat then really sorry they're the brand i use is raphael um, windsor and newton do a really good um brush as well so i'd use uh, raphael kalinsky you can get windsor and newton kalinsky brushes um yeah they are worth getting it's worth getting a little brush soap but i understand i believe that you already have a brush soap that you use and it's worth really keeping them clean and making sure that you practice good brush care like don't get the paint up into your ferrule and whatever as you see it's like a little bit of paint really sitting up in there that makes all the bristles splay out a little bit like what this bristle's doing here right now um so um, at the end of today's show that's a rogue bristle you can see that one sticking out there right at the end of the show today i'll um probably give them a really good clean uh, you can leave them soaking in it for like a, a, a little bit but not too long um yeah kalinsky good question rogue bristle where are you anyway other comments uh Kessin saying uh, yeah i remember the name kalinsky but there seems to be different types yeah um so the size that i've got is a zero um i've also got um a number two this is the first one i bought you can see the size difference between um zero and two it's not um in very good condition there So that's the difference there. And I've also got a number one. I don't actually use this one an awful lot, but it is an in-between size. Yeah, but again, if I thin the point out on it. So you can see the difference there, can't you? Um, I found these on Amazon. Uh, this one was about 14 pounds. It is a lot of money, but you know, buy yourself a decent brush. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Just buy yourself a decent brush. It'll make all the difference. I used to use brushes like this all the time. This has got its use. Um, it's just a, it's a workhorse. I use it for cleaning out my airbrush mostly or for scrubbing things and whatever. They got their purposes. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, staff says, uh, if it wasn't for this show, I wouldn't have a Gaslands team and a few one, one to 100 scale German tanks all painted. And I hate painting. Um, yes thanks i really appreciate it when people say things like that i actually get a lot of messages uh regularly thanking me for what i do on the show uh, you're very welcome it's for me as well as it is for you uh, a little bit selfish maybe um but yes by bringing together people in the community we we all end up doing more it's a it's a sociable thing we make the most of us make these models for games which is a sociable thing to do um or at least to kind of show them off and even if it's just like a 135th scale vehicle or something there's maybe there's no game for it that you play but it's about sharing it you know um and sharing the ex and it's sharing the experience building up to that point as well making it all it's a social thing and it's easier when you have that company to do it it's a friday evening so i'm gonna have my red wine cheers Oh, delicious. Right. I feel like I deserve it. It's been a long week. Um, next one. Here we go. It just looks like a massive <laughs> pile of termagants over there. I just can't deal with it. Don't look at it. It's just going to make you cross. Oh, going the wrong way. Okay, here we go. This one is number six. Of <sighs> 16. Uh, <laughs> staff says, Git. Yes, it was me. <laughs> You don't say, Mr. Corsi. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll let Staff talk about it, maybe. Uh, yeah, basically, Stafford uh, and myself and a few others were playing um, Alpha Strike, which is a Mech Warrior game. Um, I had survived quite well through the game while the others had eliminated each other or been shooting each other up quite a bit. I had made one kill. Sorry, Kez. And uh, I was going to come over and... Um, see who I could pick off at the fight at the other end of the table which Stafford was involved in he came out to deal with me he started very strongly and I double sixed him Whew. sometimes that's just the way it goes and I thought I was going to double six the other guy but yeah he took me apart piecemeal I deserved it of course and the thing is when I start to win I, I get a little bit <laughs> it's a psychological game with me you got to be prepared for it. So I deserved it. And I'll take that. I'll take that. It's fine. Right. Okay. Another bit of grey all mixed up there. Again, probably a bit too much water, but it'll start to dry in a second. That is actually quite a bit runny. Let's get another dollop here. Let's mix that in. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Cool. 
Can't have it too watery, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's a very watery mix that's on this brush. Oops. Do get some smooth lines with it. But this is starting to bead. I don't like that. And as it dries, it goes opaque. No, I need even more. That's okay. That just means I've got more in the palette, right? What would really help me is if I actually had like a ratio for each of the paints that I use. One drop of water to one drop of paint or whatever it is. But I, I don't... I think I have the brain capacity for that. There's another one of those little things that could just be a, a hurdle and stand in your way. You know, the motivation, if it breaks you down, you're like, oh, I can never get the, the ratios right, so oh, I don't think I'll bother painting tonight. Just, just do it. I'm gonna swap sides now. Okay, cool. Rogue bristle. I see ya. Okay. I'm liking this feathering approach, it's really working. I feel like I should have had that like honed in a long time ago, but oh, whatever. Looks good. that Adrian put a comment in a second ago and I didn't read it. Uh, the Azrak model is such a unique character model that I have now broken out my Windsor & Newton Series 7 double O brush to do some lining. Fantastic, yeah, it's, it's nice to have that like that one model that comes along every now and again we're like, hey, I'm gonna pull out all the stops for it. And that's how I like to treat my character models actually. So like all these little models I'm doing now, these are all just kind of like line infantry of a horde army as well. Who cares, right? But, you know, for your character model, whatever, yeah, break out the special paints, break out the special paintbrushes and whatever. You know, if you've got like space marines or something like that, do all your, your line infantry. You have fewer space marines than you would like in a, an army like Tyranids, so maybe do spend a bit more time on the on the space marines generally. But like your your commander, whatever he is going to be, or your dreadnought or whatever, yeah, go to town on it. Especially if it's a special release character like this Azrak guy. Not doing a very good job of feathering this one, am I?
contrast is looking a bit better on this one though. Getting faster. Uh, staff says, oh, I'm painting tank tracks. I am so bored. <laughs> yeah, tank tracks is not a fun thing to paint, is it? They're actually quite difficult to paint, especially on that size model as well. I got one right here. Got a little M24 Chaffee. Yeah, painting those tracks is, especially if you've got lots of them to do, and you do have a lot of them. Yeah, tank tracks is boring, man. Yeah, I do love them, though. I think the little teeny tiny tanks, they are fun. Let's make sure that I'm in shock, because last week I started to creep out a little bit. Now I need some water on that. Keep that brush moist. Load it with a bit more paint. There we go. I do feel like I'm against the clock with this batch of termogens because I'm so behind from being poorly. Desperately trying to not rush them. I was just thinking then, as I was painting these little lines on, wouldn't it be cool to have like a, a tiger stripe style tyranid? But I think <laughs> enough's enough for now, right? <laughs> That's ADHD, that is. God, wouldn't it be good if I were to do something different now that I'm just starting to get used to this? Let's change it up again. Going on a little bit thick there on the legs, but yeah, whatever. If I had my wet palette out, this would actually be probably much easier. But my desk at the moment is in quite a state because I've been poorly and just generally not really interested in doing much. Um, I haven't really been up here to tidy up or anything. It does need a good old tidy and sort out in the studio. Um, so yeah, perhaps a wet palette would be beneficial. Maybe for next week. I'm just going back over some of those initial lines because they are not as opaque as I wanted them because it was quite watery, so yeah, that's good. Okay, let's do the head here and then consider having a break getting quite close to break time. Two. 
And if, like me, you're thinking, well, it's been nearly an hour and I've only got two minis done, like Danny, don't worry. Don't beat yourself up over it. Yeah, would have loved to have had more done by now. But at least I've got two done. That looks rubbish. Let's start that again. Having these two done is more than having just one done, or none, which would be the case if I didn't come up and do anything. So, you know, small victories, small wins. And once all this grey is done, I don't have to think about it again on these little minis. Something like that, maybe. my concentration voice again please excuse the radio silence why my brain can't do two things at the same time Much colder today as well. Actually, feels like the winter that we've been kind of missing, I suppose. So yeah, this morning was uh, the first day outside since I shaved my head. I shaved my head last night, and uh, but outside, I was like, of course, it's gone icy. It was minus two this morning, um, but up till now it's been about nine degrees. Um, so yeah, something happened last night. Uh, just as I was recovering as well with a snotty nose, I had to go really, really cold and to de-ice my car and things this morning which is the first for the year so it's a mighty bit colder up in the uh, studio today I'm in the attic of the house I feel this guy was a little bit sloppier than the other one I need to try and hone my craft in a little bit more So I came home from work yesterday and I was starting to feel better and I was like, oh, I've just been so poorly for what feels like a century. As I say, I've only just recovered from one, one chest infection and I said to my partner, I'm gonna, gonna have a shower and, and wash the, wash the ill out of me and I had the first shave I've had for probably about 10 days. I thought, oh, why stop there? So I shaved my head as well and had a shower and it just felt like I was not just shaving my head, but I was shaving the ill, getting rid of it all, carving it off my face. And then, of course, yeah, it froze this morning, so it was a very cold day. Almost ran out of grey in the palette. Can I get the last three? Few streaks and stuff on here. I think I can. Just 
two more plates to go. Come on now. I think my brush is getting a bit claggy because I'm so close to finishing one model I've been quite excited to not clean it out if I cleaned it out probably would be beneficial that 10 left yeah it's looking pretty cool do you know what let's let's go get ourselves ready for uh, a break and I'm gonna give my brush a quick clean Is it, I think it needs it um, do you know what bit of wine first mm -mm -mm. Um, where's me where's me cleaning stuff brush cleaner I've lost it. Told you my desk needs a really good clean. There it is. So, again, I've probably said this a million times. Green stuff, well, brush clean is what I use. It's a liquid. It's in a little um, pot the same size as their dropper bottles. It is in a dropper bottle. And I could just put a little bit of... So it's, it's like dish shape, I suppose, but it's specially formulated to help eliminate um, acrylic paints. And it is really good. But I know that the, um, the bar of soap, the one that comes in a little um, container, there's a couple of those brands out there. I know that they are also particularly good. And when this runs out, I just wanted to try this because I've seen it, I've, you know, a bit of an impulse buy. I needed it. I thought I'd give it a go. I was buying some stuff from Green Stuff World anyway. And off I went. Um, so I don't regret having it. It's really good. I can see the stuff coming out of it already here. Um, so yeah, that's that's the stuff that I've got. Um, yeah, when when it's done, I'll, I'll have another space on my paint rack, so that's handy, right? So yeah, uh, some comments that are going in. Then um, <laughs> Jeff says uh, I've been using a deluxe one-inch brush today. Oh, deluxe brush, one-inch brush. Yeah, that's um, yeah, that's that's not what I've got here. <laughs> Do you know, funnily enough, at work today I've been painting as well and I've been using like the, the, the big house brush, you know, the four inch jobby for cutting in on feature walls in our residential area. So um, yeah, this is some fine detail work to finish off the day. Alright, just uh, give this a good old lathering, just trying to gently work that soap up into the ferrule and I do that by making little circles gently. I don't want to be aggressive, but I'm trying to work it into the bristles. And as I kind of make my circular motions, I'll, I'll make it you know, bigger so you can see a bit better on that smaller screen. But as I kind of make this pass, as long as I'm not like over scruffing the bristles, it's, it's kind of forcing some of that um, you know, liquid up into the ferrule. And then I can kind of press down. I'm not going to really, again knacker out the bristles by pushing down on the ferrule really hard, but I can get a little bit of pressure in there and sort of just splay it in and, and just just work it in, work it in. And that lather has gone white because of the soap it is, but also there's a lot of the colours that I've been using. There's, uh, there's the um, the screaming skull ivory colour, and there's also the grey that I've been using as well, the, the administrator grey, and that's kind of making that foam go funny colour. And then. I just wash the brush out, add a bit of water to it, so now I've got like a big blob of water, and water it down. And then, you know, again, work it all through, back into the water, again, clean brush now, still big blob of water, and I'm just kind of diluting that soap down now, and I suppose just kind of washing the brush out, at the same time, it's still working soap into it. It's kind of just something that works for me. I don't know if that's like the proper way of doing it, or a science way of doing it. I've just noticed it, you know, helps clean the table 
the same time I can still see sometimes stuff coming out of it and also I'm washing all the soap out of the brush at the same time like that okay there we go and I'm bringing my cloth now just wipe the table clean clean sorry save my words properly and then the brush and now my brush should be nice and clean with their barrels and I can see that the base down there is much cleaner than it was put a fine point back on it there we go lovely there we are so um oh we've got some oh we've got no john's come back in from out this world's models minis hello all i made it hi john we're about to go for a quick break but it's really nice to see you i hope you're going to stick around you are going to stick around for a few minutes um because yeah i'm going to go and top up this bad boy of wine i'm going to go and change my paint water which is something that you should absolutely go and do um and then if i still got a little bit of time i might get a head start on a couple more termogens i want to get two more done with the gray and then by the end of the show if i can get those four grayed and the ivory on them that i think will be a good place to be for this evening because it is it's just it's just monotonous work mm. anyway yeah we're at that point so go do what it is you need to go do go get your refill go and change your paint water <laughs> john says i'm here for the rest see you in a minute john go change your paint water john see you in a minute
Welcome back. Hope you had a good break. I couldn't very well tell John off for not changing his water, so I actually went and changed my water and took my own advice. I'm very rosy-cheeked, sat up here uh, in the studio today, quite warm with all the computer running and a second glass of red wine probably goes a long way. I was stepped outside and my gosh, it's cold in the house. Terrible. So I think I'll stay up here today. Lovely. Anyway, happy Friday. I um, hope you're having a nice start to your weekend. Um... Yeah, I yeah, went and changed my water, went and said hello to the cats, got a visitor, went and said hello to them. Um, and I've just been cracking on with painting the grey back on my next termagant. Three or four that I think that I want to kind of get done today. That's my kind of little mini target. I'm not using water in this mix of grey. I thought I'd have a little go with the um, flow improver. Just, just trying to work out which works best. At the moment they seem to be sort of the same. So save money, I'll just crack on with the water I think really. Um, on such a small scale model anyway yeah it's going really well enjoying the process it's a bit of a slog but you know I'm almost halfway through this This and this is the most sloggish thing I think out of all of it doing the grey is, is, is the hardest thing anyway uh, we're here for another hour so if you are going to be painting your miniatures and you want a little bit of company that's what we're here for so come along and join us remember if you do like what we do here if you enjoy the community and you just like having a chat with people while you're painting live or watching it back later on that's absolutely fine like a lot of people do then please do find us on Facebook find us on Instagram uh, and on Discord at the end of the show, if you want to, you can come and join me and the rest of the community, whoever comes to join us. And actually have a chat face-to-face, -face, microphones, cameras, etc. in the Easy Eight After Party on Discord. And you can find a link to that in the description just down there. So click on that and it'll take you to the Discord. Super simple process. Come and join us. Have a, have a nice little chat. <laughs> Too much wine. That's what that is. <clears throat> anyway, if you do like what we do, of course, like, follow, share and subscribe. Because it makes me feel really good about myself. Thanks. <laughs> Anyway, I'll take you back over to the workbench, show you what I'm kind of doing down here. Same as what I've been doing all afternoon, really. Afternoon, evening? No, it's definitely a night, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Um, yeah, John says he's joining us for the rest of the show. So thanks, John, for coming along. Nice to see you again, mate. I hope you're doing well. Nice to have someone from the States to join us. What time is it over there in the States? Must be, I reckon, you're probably about five or six hours behind us, so... What is that? It's going to put you around about three, four o'clock, is that? Yeah, it must be around about that sort of time. Four, five o'clock? Hmm, I don't know. Time zones are weird. I think just times across the whole planet should be the same. Just that, you know, you're eight o'clock in the evening, it's just going to be lighter. <laughs> Night time. Nah, sorry, you guys are nocturnal, didn't you know? It works for me, alright. Now, even with this flow improver, it's still a bit too thick, so I'm going to add just a touch of water. Knowing that the flow improver has already diluted that paint down a little bit, so I don't need to go in so heavy with that water. If it's, if it's too viscous, it just doesn't transfer from the from the brush very well. I are repeating myself there. How are your projects going this evening? If you are working on something, I'd love to know, so do come and tell me about it. Kes has put up loads of photos of her snow um, snow terrain on Facebook. If you've got some stuff you want to share with everybody, then um, yeah, put it up there. It'd be great to see it. I can see John's made a comment. I'm just going to get this pin on here. I'm going to work the other way. It's a bit easier if I work this way, isn't it? Yeah, the paint's dragging. It doesn't want to. Doesn't want to move. A bit more water, perhaps. See what I was talking about earlier on? I had a system and a method, etc., that was working for me. Second half, can't help myself. Got to change it. quite loaded and I'm being quite timid because if, it, if you've got a load of brush you're trying to be fine like this if you go you can end up with a big blob so just offload the brush a little So I 
concentration voice there again. That's not my best set of feathering. Let's let's come back in and do a bit more. Let's go back over that. Need a bit more water in that, I think. It's really kind of got quite gloopy. Break it down a little bit with some water. That's my chair that's creaking, I apologise. Do you remember months, months ago when I moved into the new studio, so I said I was going to replace the chair? Didn't. There we go, that's better. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see what you guys have written. Um, so, as John says, it's just after three. Oh, yeah, that is quite a bit earlier, isn't it? Uh, modifying a clockwork dragon before painting. Oh, I saw, do you know, I saw your little teaser pictures on Facebook the other day where you're actually segmenting the wings off and putting your own little rivets and things on there. Man, that looks like some meticulous work. I could really get my teeth into something like that if it weren't for all the painting that I've got to do. So, best of luck with that. It's looking really, really good, really exciting. A clockwork dragon. That's kind of cool, right? The things you, you find, John, the, the, all the projects that you do, fascinating. Love it. Do you know, I still haven't finished watching your Martian build. Like, I got poorly just after my birthday when you when you released the video, and I've watched bits and pieces of it. I like the fact that you're not talking in it, and it's just, you know, the old broadcast. That's, yeah, that's a nice touch, that is. And we know how I feel about War of the Worlds and you know, the story and the novelization and whatever. So yeah, I'd like to kind of get back on and finish that video. My apologies for not finishing that. to work that way on this side. I need to start from the the back of the plate there. And I work my way in because when I put the brush down I get quite a, a wider blob of paint and then I can trail it off into a thinner band. And I can make the um, the streaks look nice basically. Staff says painting pans of threes, fours, five, and a six. Is that the numbers that you've got, or is that the actual variants? Like you've got a couple of pans of threes and pans of fours, you've got a panther and a tiger one, is that correct? So a few weeks ago, Stafford, I played a bit of Water Tanker. You weren't around. Um, uh, so I played Germans because I know you like to play the Germans. Everyone knows that you like to play the Germans. You have the largest German tank collection known to mankind. So I thought in your absence, I'll have a go. And I took a Panther and a Panzer. No, I took a Stug 3 against a couple of T-34s, the later variants. Oh my God, longest tank battle ever. I won. Panthers, man. Yeah, longest fight scene in the world it went on for hours a game that you know can last 10 minutes it did not I did not deserve to win that fight either the opponent was um yeah they they had done a lot throughout that game to warrant a victory themselves but you know me I like to come back from the dead or just from the brink proper hero victory because I am a hero 
Hi, I'm Danny. I'll be accepting, accepting adulation all evening, so uh, lay it upon me. Adulations only, please. Right, come on, you can do this. Get this bad boy done. Oh, what's going on? A bit heavy. Offload the brush a little bit. There we go. I probably offloaded it a bit too much there, but never mind. That feathering down there is looking really good. Up the top, monstrous. Uh, oh, comments going in. Uh, John says I had a lot of fun with that video. Yeah, man, it looks really good. And do you know, it's, it's just such a unique model with the little lights and stuff in it. You chose to miss out some of the lights. I, I think that they might have been lights to go underneath the base to make the base light up. What was your decision for, for doing that? Because um, obviously I haven't seen that far in the video. You might have explained it, but um, obviously you've used the lights for the eyes, but you chose to um, not do the other ones. Particular reason for it? Or just didn't feel it, or just going to want to do something different? Yeah, interesting how people yeah, want to do different things with their models. Staff says, uh, two, two times three, two times four, a panther and a tiger. Correct, yes. Yeah, like a good old, good old tank. I've got a couple of Sherman 75s to make and I've still got a, a Hellcat. Is it Hellcat? Yeah. I haven't made them yet. I've got a load of MDF houses from uh, foreground to, to build as well. Um, so I made a start on one of those while I was poorly and did do a very good job of the roof. So got to get back to that. That was something that I could do whilst sitting on the sofa watching Rick and Morty. I knew I was out of it, I was drinking vodka, trying to um, just you know, make myself feel nothing while I was coughing. Vodka was doing a very good job of keeping me happy watching Rick and Morty and I knew that I was a little bit out of it because I was taking Rick and Morty very seriously. So I was like, do you know what? It's time for bed. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. Just gonna do the plates on top of his head. Quick check of the time, how are we doing? Yeah, all right, we're, we're doing okay, aren't we? How are your builds going, guys? If, you, if you're working on something this evening, how is it going? Are you kind of feeling a bit pressured by the fact you've got so much to get through and you might be a little bit behind like me? Are you just cruising? Are you getting stuff done? Yeah, is it been a good evening? Are you, are you struggling? Tell me all about it. Let me know. Tell Uncle Daddy. Oh no, I didn't like that. Let's not call me that.
kind of like doing almost like elongated dots on the head there rather than like little lines and that seems to be working just as well texture of my paints all kind of screwed up I don't really know what's going on there obviously it's because I, I went from water to um, uh, flow improver it's just um, yeah it's not watered down the, the paint as well as just water would or was doing which I kind of got used to so now I've ruined it for myself Uh, John says I was running out of time I was going to add some electrical pops on the damaged snake like a, like, uh, like uh, the snake like camera uh, there's still a chance I can go back and add it in yeah I suppose there's any, every chance you can do that with any model isn't there really so were you, were you feeling like you were trying to like get it done for, for Halloween in time Cause I think that was one of the things that you'd said, mentioned on like a previous video or on Facebook or something was that you're trying to get it done for Halloween um, well, it still looks good man I still love it you know the um, the Martian from the the George Powell version of the film is nothing like what is explained in the book of which I am passionate about but it's still a really cool film I love it I love the fact that as a kid watching that certainly wasn't in 1954 when I watched it as a kid it was um, late 80s I think uh, it was terrifying <laughs> and watching it now you're like oh, a bit, bit daft in it but like back then it must have been like the scariest thing ever gun So I'm going to constantly add water to every blob of paint that I pull out here because it's just, I've ruined the consistency and it's becoming a bit more of a chore to work and again one of those things that's adding to the monotony of the task and if you've got a monotonous task don't add to the monotony, I should have just kept it simple. I kind of messed that one up, but exposure therapy, Danny. Leave it. Walk away. That's number three. It is done. Okay, cool. Wash the brush out. I'm going to take a little bit of a break there because, oh my gosh, 
just need to read some community messages because, yeah, my eyes got a bit zoned in there. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. John says, thanks, yeah. It was my Halloween build. Yeah, cool. No, I love it. Excellent. Just love War of the Worlds. It's such a fantastically scary story. It's a little bit old English now. If you if you have yourself a copy of the novel, it's a very small book. If you're a really good reader, you could read it in a day or two. Really, you really could. Mm. And it reads a little bit over descriptive, perhaps. But um, I've read it like a thousand times now, and every time I read it, I always find something slightly new, something different in the description of the way that the creature moves or the design of the tripod or the way in which it attacks a town or whatever every time I read it there's always something I go like ah I never really focused on that before fantastic I'm just obsessed with the story really anyway uh, let's move on to number four here uh, before I move on to number four what I want to talk about uh, which I've been plugging for the last couple of weeks and I think I'm going to continue doing it until April maybe I'll miss a few weeks here and there. Uh, but I want to talk about Salute, the War Games um, convention or the War Games meetup um, in the UK next year. Salute is, I believe, the UK's largest War Games convention or, or meetup, a uh, place to go and see games being played and look at all the cool things that are on sale. Lots of vendors, a really big deal about it. Um, in previous years, it's been run over like a whole weekend, two or even three days. Uh, this coming year, so 2023, I think is the first year it's picking back up since COVID. COVID since the lockdown uh, so it's only going to be the one day that day is going to be um, April the 22nd and tickets to go to that are £12 so it's really really affordable it's, it changes venue every year but it's commonly been put somewhere in or around Birmingham the uh, 2023 is going to be in London um, I don't actually have a specific venue for it uh, but I will find that out and talk about it after the show today in Discord and in future weeks I'll, I'll give more and more details about it uh, I'm really looking forward to go in. I've never been to um, a big convention like that before. I've been to lots of like, local ones and little ones in and around the area in the southwest where I am based. Uh, so this is going to be a really nice opportunity to kind of go out there. And I'm offering that opportunity to go and, go and join the community. Uh, so I started talking about last week and the week before. Kind of just telling people, hey, I'm going. It'd be great to meet up with you because we've done a few kind of smaller meetups, gone to the Tank Museum and things like that together in the past. And that was great fun. Um, so going to Salute could just be like a, a wicked time away. Uh, last week I mentioned it and a, quite a few people come on at the end of the show onto Discord uh, and we bought tickets together. Um, so I'm really kind of infused about, you know, the amount of people that want to go, uh, whether they'll be able to make it close to the time or not, I don't know. What I would suggest is if you are even remotely interested, get your tickets because you can always sell them or give them to someone else if you can't make it at the end of the day. And it is only 12 quid. Um, so that's, in my book anyway, that's really affordable for what could potentially be like a really good weekend away uh, my initial plan at the moment at this stage is to kind of go the day before up to London um, never drive in London that's a ridiculous thing to do even if you think you're good at it just don't do it it's just pointless uh, <laughs> it's a hard job trying to drive um, in London so it's going to get the train up there because you can kick back with a beer and just kind of enjoy the company of whoever you're travelling with get a travel lodge or a premier inn or an Airbnb or some kind of you know affordable accommodation in the area uh, which is really easy to do in London anyway and then like the next day go, go down there as a community a big group and we'll just go and see what it's all about maybe stay another evening if necessary um, just to kind of enjoy the company if a big group of people go then it might be nice to do that obviously that's open to everybody um, and it would just be really really cool to see other members of the community who haven't seen before and to get back together again with those people who I've met in the past it'd be just brilliant I'm really really excited about going my dad Jeff who's in the live chat now from Purple Lion Creations I believe is going to be going. Also along with um, Colin Farrant who heads up Charlie Foxtrot Models. I believe they're going up together so they're going to be going up as because they do a lot of work, collaborative work so they're going to kind of go up and have a good look around and sell some stuff to uh, a good expose for their companies um, and just a nice to have a little look around. Me, I'm not going to be having my own stall or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to kind of and have a lark and buy some stuff and chill out and you know have a meal in the evenings with you guys. Um, so if you are interested and you want to get talking about it find me on any of the platforms that I talk on either here in the comment section down there if you want to I read everything all the time uh, you can hit me personal message you can hit me on Facebook whatever you like or you can come and talk to me about it at Discord or, or in future videos if you want to um, yeah I'm really looking forward to it and I've got we've got enough time to plan it out 
I'm fairly confident that closer to the time it will sell out because it is very very popular and it is a big show has been a big show I don't know what to expect this year so uh, I'm really looking forward to it it's going to be good fun so yeah that's Salute 2023 uh, April the 22nd ticket prices at the moment are £12 I can help you buy those I can buy them for you uh, so if you're in a foreign country you've got quite a few people that live in uh, in the EU in Germany Spain etc uh, or even over in the US if you want me to buy those tickets for you I can and I can give you like I can email you the codes because it's all electronic um, so yeah any of any extra information you want let me know salute next year would love to see you guys and if there's loads of us then we'll make a really big deal about it and we'll hang out for like you know a week or you know a month or a year okay I'm getting silly now okay moving on to tangent number four what time are we at we are at half past eight just gone let's um get this guy done and I'd really like to move on to doing ivory today if I don't get ivory all done by the end of the show that's okay I'm, I'm going to be on discord at the end of the show um, where we can I, I can carry on doing this and they'll be done by the end of the day that'd be great um, so yeah if you're interested in talking at the end of the day I will be on the easy a after party um, where you can come and have a chat chill out in a video yeah and we get like, loads of new people joining like on discord every week it's really quite nice to see so I, was, I missed a couple of people a little while ago. So sorry, Chimera Wargaming guys. I'm so, I'm sorry I missed you. Um, I sent you a message in Discord saying I, I I didn't realise that you were trying to get into the call. Like you, I think you were struggling, or you just missed me or something. Soz, my bad. I, yeah, I was having such a good time in the chat. Sometimes it's just me sitting there listening to music, lonely by myself. I've got no friends. Be my friend, guys. Come keep me company in Discord. Right, let's get this guy done. He says with a snotty nose, I'm so sorry. Let's work this way. This is the best way, isn't it? Yes. Needs more water. I'm not getting those fine lines like I was earlier. If next week I'm doing more fine line work and I say, hey, I'm going to put flow improver instead of water in there, can you all en masse just, I don't know, throw a shoe at me or something? That would be great. Uh, what's going on? Jeff says, for a more local show, uh, Pause 2023 is on the 4th and the 5th of Feb. Ah, yeah, that was one of the first ones that we went to. That's the Plymouth Amateur Wargame Society. Um, and it's generally worth a visit because for me it's fairly local and it's only like an hour and a bit away, really. Um, so if anyone's interested in that, I will be going to that. Um, and you can just pay on the door to get in. It's a nice small one. Um, lots of historical stuff there. So if you live local and you fancy a day out, we could be down there and back within the day. It's a nice trip. I've been there twice now. Uh, but both times with Jeff, my dad, uh, we've had a really nice time. And it's nice to see, like, um, war games in the local community. Yeah, I'm having a real mare with this. Come on, this paint is not transferring from brush to model. Pause. P-A-W-S. Staff says, uh, can you get more details about it, please? Can you get more details about, uh, what, about pause or about salutes let me know which one you're talking about now yeah i'm gonna have to clean the brush out that is not working for me getting some fat off lines in there fat off that's a, an actual technical term do you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna make up a new batch of paint because i think it's just all gone funny in the bottom of the palette there moving on here we go if at first you don't succeed scrap everything burn it to the ground don't suffer fools. Well, I'm only going to put a little bit of paint in here because I've only got the one model left to go. There we go. And I'm just going to go in with some water. No flow improver. Don't do it. Flow improver is good, but that's an airbrush mix as well. Come on now, don't be a bummer.
much better already. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I will not use Flow Improver for this task again in the future. Unless I change my mind. Why the flow improver wasn't working there, I don't know. Um, maybe it's just you know because it's today. Maybe it's because you know it could be because it's cooler in here. I, it could be anything. Flow improver has worked for me in the past. It might just be this paint. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got a live one. Sit down now. Get back in there now. You're embarrassing me. Am I going to get this done? Because 22. Um, salute venue, etc. Okay, yeah, cool. I, I will hit you up with everything. I will find as much as I possibly can. We could come over into Discord at the end of the show and we'll have a, a good old search together about it all there, if you like. Um, and then with that information, what I'll do is I'll bring that to everyone's attention um, next week. So I'll kind of I'll, I'll, I'll give it another plug next week. I'll talk about it there. If you're interested in coming, it'll be great to see you. Obviously, you've come along with us to the Tank Museum and things like that in the past. We've had a really good time out. So, um, yeah, even if you've not been to uh, a war game show or anything like that in the past, I, I, I swear down, you'll you'll have a great time, even if it's if, if it's just you only have a great time on your first go. It'll be a good one to go to for your first one. Other things that I'm looking at doing this year um, is having a nice little pilgrimage to Warhammer World. Um, I haven't really kind of got any sort of plans for that. Obviously, there's no dates. You can just kind of go whenever you want to that one. Um, I've never been, um, which is a shame because I've been a fan of Warhammer and Warhammer 40,000 since I was about 12, um, if not before. No, it must have been around about 12. So it seems like a bit weird that I've never, I've never been. Um, so yeah, I'd like to go. Like I said last week, it's my 41st year on this planet, cycle around the sun, etc., and um, being 41 I think that you know it will be a nice gesture to my favorite hobby Warhammer 40,000 you know 41st millennium 41st birthday whatever to kind of make a big deal about Warhammer in my life right now so I'd really like to go and I would love to share that chance with you guys as well so um, yeah if you, if you fancy going let's talk about it let's go Yeah, I like to go up there for a few days, book out a couple of tables, play some games, you know, go and eat, drink in Bugman's Bar, etc. And just, you know, just be adult children for a couple of days. I go and have a look at all the museum-y stuff, Warhammer World. You know, cool stuff. Yeah, staff. <laughs> what you want about us, Jeff? Yeah, staff. Yeah. Come along. Come and meet the crew again. Don't worry about the war games. Come and have a meal. Come and have a few drinks. Come and get drunk and talk excitedly about games and stuff. Let your hair down. All three of them. Bring your kids, why not? Or your favourite child. Oh, if he comes now with a child, which one's going to be the favourite? Can't get away from it now. Unless it's open knowledge in your household, which one's your favourite? <laughs> it was that one, and they knew it all along. If anyone is coming from further from further afield as well, if you're coming from like a different country or a lot further away out in the country, 
um, and you want me to help you book um, accommodation I can certainly do that for you um, I don't have the means to be able to provide that accommodation for you that would be a great position to be in but if you don't know the area or you're like oh you know what how does it work in the UK what's the best place to be don't go Hilton because uh, it's really expensive <laughs> or is it don't know Yeah, I'm getting some nice streaky stripes now. Oh, I over overpainted. I've gone to the next plate there in the wrong place. But you know what? I'm just going to leave it. Really fighting with my inner demons today. <laughs> Keep making mistakes and not wanting to go back to them. My brain is having a real fight. What do you mean you're not going to go back and sort that out? Go back and sort it out? No, I refuse. This is a really bad one. I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I've watered that down a bit too much. Let's get a bit more paint back in the palette there. I'm just putting down grey water now is all I'm doing. There we go. You guys must be so bored of watching a man paint grey stripes. Glad you tuned in for this, right? Okay, almost done, almost done. Trying to not rush it, got a quarter of an hour left. A quarter of an hour is a long time. So another thing that I have been doing throughout this week um, that hasn't required, you know, the focus of coming up into the studio and putting paint on things while I'm poorly, is I've been kind of laying down some plans about the future of Easy 8 I've said in the past, Easy 8 will always be here. The online painting club will always be here in this format, in the way that I do it. Uh, I had a lot of outcry from people saying, hey man, don't change it, leave it the way it is. I heard you loud and clear, never going to change it, it's always here, right? Um, but I kind of want to do some other stuff, and I've experimented with a couple of little videos. You can probably see them out there on YouTube of like product reviews and things. But I don't really feel that I'm good enough to really kind of talk about stuff like that like you guys are probably better than me I'm just a guy painting some stuff and, and frankly you know product reviews and things like that it's out there you know and I, that's not my it's not my deal I have had people asking me to kind of like show how I do certain things like use airbrushes and whatever and, I, and I'm more than happy to do it if you guys want me to but I have been thinking about other things that you know easy 8 can do can provide and and I, I want to do something different just because well, it's fun right that's what it's all about it's just it's a, it's a hobby um so i've actually been talking to some members of the community um in secret we haven't been talking about it on the show or you know kind of putting things up on facebook or anything like that at the moment because we're just spitballing some ideas down but we we're really excited um 
And if you're watching right now, yeah, I'm not going to give anything away yet. Um, because we need to plan it. We haven't really kind of finalised anything. We're, we're literally just talking about some ideas at the moment. But if, if you've got any ideas about what you think would be cool to see from Easy 8, that's a little bit different than what we do right now, um, then I'm all ears. And it could be a really crazy harebrained idea. And even if that isn't an idea that we go with, it might lead into something else. Uh, the same with any kind of inspiration. So if you've got some ideas that you think would be really cool from Easy 8, then yeah then then let me know because i can talk about it with those members um and do something cool fun and frankly collaborative um for the next stage in the community's sort of evolution like i say online painting club will always be here it, it's valuable to me and to some of you guys out there maybe a whole bunch of people who haven't found us yet and i don't want to take that away i don't want to stop doing what we do this will always be the primary thing this will always be so if other ventures come along and it sort of ruins the schedule or kind of gets in the way of easy eight stops stops it being what it's all about then you know painting club comes first in all other easy eight sort of ventures in the future um, but I kind of just want to get out there and do stuff with the community and and yeah just make new stuff and deliver new content but it's your show as much as it is mine and i'm really interested to to hear about other ideas you've got uh jeff saying uh, you could do interviews etc wow that's a really good idea that i've not thought about before uh, you could do uh, you could film salute i have thought about that actually that's gonna take a little bit of prep and planning um but yes i would like to do that um i've been thinking about actually getting a steady cam that sounds funky. I was just going to get a gimbal for my phone. It's the same thing, but yeah. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I have thought about doing that. That would be really cool. Um, what else did you just say on there? I just had a look at a War Games show calendar for 2023. There's a lot of shows on next year. Wicked. Do you know what? In fact, what we'll do then is at the end of the show on Discord, we'll talk about Salute, and we'll, you know, for those of you that want to know a bit more about it, I'll kind of find those details out. But we'll have a look through that calendar. If you, I don't know, Dad, if you can share that calendar on the Facebook page, because I know you're not a member of the Discord community um so if you could share that on on the facebook page that would be brilliant if that is something that you can do that would be great i'm not trying to take the mic there like is that something you can do are you tech savvy you're on youtube of course you can um, i meant if you if you are capable of just doing that to wander off the shot again there seems to be something i do always at this time of the day tired perhaps we are getting close of course to the end of the show so um we've got about 10 minutes left roughly yeah give or take so if there's anything that you want to kind of ask or you know get off your chest now's a good time to do it but don't forget, we are going to be here next week, so don't worry if you're not, if you don't get it out in time. Or if there's anything you want to talk about, you can find me on Discord. You can add, put comments down in the comment section here. Um, you can, um, you know, I, I read everything. You, you can get me in contact with me on Facebook, whatever, man. And that's how all these conversations have been going on lately. People have been getting in contact and be going like, let's do this, let's do this. And I'm like, yes really good ideas in the concept stages at the moment maybe nothing happens maybe 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 we decide no, this isn't gonna work or it's not right for us but I'm really excited to just discuss these really cool things at the moment cool there we go we're done I've got my four grey bits done today. It's really hard work, um, and I'm really not doing a very good job either. Oh, they're not really made very well either. Um, I mean, the sculpts are fine, but like I said so many times now, they're um, just put together badly. But they do need their white claws. I can show you again on this Hormagon here, the, the white claw bits. So you can see that they've got um, little claws on their middle arms, because they've got six limbs. They've got little middle arms here. Their, their hooves or their feet or whatever. They've got their 
arms on the front on this particular one, but they've also got little spares on them, and that's the little ones I'm trying to watch out for, make sure that I get them, because not every model has the spares. And they, they like got different mixtures, you know, different sort of assembly layouts, if you like. Um, yeah. But it makes them stand out, makes them pop a little bit more, and you can see on these turbulents here that they've got, got the hooves in there, or their feet, the little middle claws, and then, I've done the teeth as well, but there's little claws on the guns and things. And it just makes them pop a little bit as well. Cool. There we go. And in a bit on Discord, I'm going to crack on and start getting on with the, the Screaming Skull colour. Which I'm going to mix up now. So we've got a few minutes before the end of the show. <laughs> Too much wine? Yeah, probably. I'm in the safety of my own home. I can have as much as I like. I can't, I can't drink. Can't drink to that to that extent anymore. Gives me a headache. Right. I do have a rogue bristle there. I was gonna in the in the intermission. I was gonna go and get a little pair of tiny hair plucking tweezer things to pull that out. But I totally forgot. I went and saw the visitor instead. Interestingly, downstairs in my house, my partner is painting a room. So it is a, a whole painting evening today. Um, my, uh, our friend came over to, to help with the painting. So yeah, pop a little community today. There is a hair on there. There we go. <sighs> Which is now stuck to my finger. can see on the back of this hoof there's a little piece of sprue left on there like yeah whoever made these didn't did not care probably got bored and stuck them in a carry bag and I was like no do you know what this isn't for me and then gave them to a charity shop uh, and then overwhelmed me with the amount of models I had some years ago decided that cleaning them all up was just not something worth doing I wish I did I've got a whole box of tuners to get through, so do you know what? Focus your worries elsewhere. I'd love to actually get like a little unit of tyrannids made. I'm not making a particular army, I've just got like a lot of models. Rule of cool man, and I think they're all cool, so I've got loads. Uh, but I'd love to make up um, out of the force that I'm painting, the, the, the random units that I'm painting, I'd like to make a little unit for Kill Team. Um, I've played Kill Team once, I had a really good time doing it. Uh, I played Death Guard, which is Nurgle Space Marines versus Necrons, or was I Necrons? I can't remember now. It was quite a few years ago, just after Kill Team was released. It was the only game I played. Uh, I got beat pretty badly by a guy who wanted to show me he knew how to play. <laughs> um, but it was a great, great, great time. I'd, I'd, it was a great fun game, and I'd really like to get into it a bit more. And it's just a different facet of Warhammer 40k, isn't it? And allows you to put a bit more um, sort of narrative and thought and feeling into the the people that you've got. You can name your characters and promote them and stuff like that. You know, all the cool nerdy stuff. It's a real cluster of bits and pieces, and claws and limbs. Is such a small creature. It's so busy, stuff going on in there. Really hard to try and work out where the paintbrush has got to go. Uh, Jeff says, "Well, Christmas is coming, so you might have more grey plastic to paint." Ma yep, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe. I still haven't finished my, my honey tank. But a lot of that, like I said earlier, is down to ADHD. It, it's the thing that I'm going to blame. I've got so many projects that I, I get overwhelmed and I'm just going, oh, that one! Um, and why it's important to kind of mix things up, I think. Yeah, you gotta, like, you, you, you got to have some structure. you you got to stay true to some sort of path.
you know, and, and a list would be the best thing for me. <sighs> Alas, I abhor lists. So all these years, Dad, I thought that um, that it was just funny taking the mick out of lists and shopping lists or to-do lists or you know things like that. But actually, no. It turns out it was deep-rooted neuroses. Um, yeah, I'm finding out a lot through um, adult ADHD UK. <laughs> it's a, it's it's been a journey, man. Writing in a diary, my, 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 you know, what am I going to do today in a diary? Will not work. But on a piece of paper in a notebook, a little pocket book, that works. Weird. Here we are, finishing the, the show the way we started. Painting these little claws. I've just got two more to do, and then I can call it a night. So go back to the the 135th um, honey tank that I've got to paint. It's all built and it's half painted. It's all primed and etc. Um, the reason I haven't got around to doing this because I need to clean the airbrush out and give it a good service. Um, it it works for for little bits and pieces, but it needs a really good clean to get some you know get some good masking on the go for a, a proper camo pattern to go on that tank uh, but I thought well before I do that I'll, I'll give the workshop a bit of a tidy up and then it's just been work or being poorly or just just being lazy it's all kind of you know got a bit carried away with itself so yeah but it's nice to have it on the workbench because it's just kind of cool looking at me actually this weekend I'm going to be getting some nice floating shelves that you can't see but the wall in front of me over there it's just a big open space my partner came up at the end of a show a few weeks ago and she was like it's just an unused space isn't it I'm like yeah, yeah you're absolutely right so I'd like to be have a couple of shelves where I can put some nice models that I've painted that are just display pieces for me to sit and look at sometimes between like when I'm pr painting in my, in my personal time just to kind of sit back have a rest and just kind of look at the cool thing that I've got you know things like that so that's that's something that I'm going to be doing to just kind of um, allow myself to have the opportunity to um, admire my own work and enjoy what I've done I don't have them on display downstairs in the rest of the house because my cats are so destructive they'd be like oh that's a nice thing you've got there that took you a hundred hours to paint see ya Okay, cool. There he is. That's some more ivory colour done. Lovely. Wash my brush out, and I think we're at the end of the day, aren't we? Yeah, look at that. One minute past nine. Not bad at all. Right. Let's come away from here, shall we? There we go. So, again, feels like a slog, but two, four, six, eight. I'm halfway through. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, excellent. I mean, it feels like I've still got to go through another you know 100% of what I've already done but um, we're getting there right and that's what it's all about so if you are struggling painting through your hordes or if you just got loads of stuff to do a veritable horde perhaps then then just just keep on going tune in next Friday and every other Friday um, for this show and I've got, we'll kind of work together and if you've got any problems if you're finding that whole process a little bit overwhelming a bit overbearing then you're going to talk about it in the live chat in the comments down there you can do it you know after the show if you watch later on in the time zone or a time that best suits you and just kind of get the community behind you we'll rally you we'll help motivate you because like a lot of these guys can testify that that's what it's all about and, and, and the successes that we've had as, as, as a group together like Stafford was saying earlier on if it wasn't for this show this opportunity not you know all on me this is all about you guys that just having the community there with you while you're painting is enough to to kind of kick your butt into gear and, and get some paints on your on your miniatures and staff stuff does look great and he's got a whole collection of these little one 100 tanks staff if you'd be so kind it would be really inspiring actually if we could have a photograph of of your whole collection that you've painted 
since you know working on them on easy eight it'll be a really nice thing to put up there on the on the facebook page it'll be really good so i really appreciate that if you've got the time of course um anyway if you've been working on something this evening i'd really like to know about it so if you've got some photos or a little story to tell about what it is that you've been working on today or over a period of few weeks then again pop it up on the facebook channel uh, let us know I'd, I'd love to see it i'd love to know about it kez's stuff is looking absolutely fantastic um if you're really interested in see what my dad's been doing jeff over at purple line creations there's a link to purple line creations and a whole host of other um websites and facebook pages to go and see just click on those links down there because there's some excuse me some really good stuff coming out of those vendors and my dad not coming out of my dad that's just weird and a little bit gross shut up danny okay cool um yeah there we go um, i'm gonna be over at discord just after the show i'm gonna have a quick break go see my partner for like two minutes and then i'll be back up here back online i'm gonna carry on doing a little bit of painting so if you want to come and join me uh, as a late one into the weekend um, and we can talk about salute and all the war games stuff that's coming up over next year steve jenkins has just joined us greetings people hi steve we very rarely see you. thanks for coming along we're literally just coming to the end of the show but if you want to come and join us in discord you're welcome to as well um yeah so we're talking about going away to some of these shows next year that's what we're going to be doing in just a few minutes um and if you just kind of want to just talk idle nonsense then you can too don't forget if you like what we're doing here don't forget to uh you know like follow share and subscribe to the show because everything that you do um makes a massive difference to me and my world here motivates me gives me a massive ego um but just kind of generally shares the word and makes the show bigger um sad, sad face sorry mate <laughs> cool my face is warm too much wine um just yeah i'm warm um yeah so there we go subscribe just 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 do it just push the button just tell some friends at work whatever it is subscribe let's get above 64 that seems to have been the threshold i can't seem to get above that let's make it 70 by next week Oh, what how cool would it be to get 75 by christmas that would be awesome so yeah give me give me 75 subscribers that'd be that'd be great and bring some new people along to the show bring a friend next time do it why not anyway honestly that's that's enough from me i've been rambling on for a little bit now um it's been lovely to have your company so thank you so much for coming along today i hope you've got loads done today and i hope you're going to have a really really good week and looking forward to christmas it's that time of the year now isn't it so uh, that's enough from me now uh, until next week um my name's been danny says it right down there this has been easy eight 68.5 subscribers okay do it make it happen i'd love to see it until next week stay safe be kind keep on painting and i'll see you soon take care now Bye bye How, how can you have 0.5 subscribers? How does that work? Are, are they okay? <laughs>